Happening today, a traditionally short ceremony in Congress will turn into a lengthy debate today over Joe Biden's presidential victory. Lawmakers will meet in a joint session to certify the Electoral College vote, but some of President Trump's allies are staging a last ditch effort to challenge those results. Washington correspondent Jesse Tenora joins us live this morning with what to expect. Good morning, Jesse. Yeah, good morning, Isaac. Objections like this have happened before and failed. Today's efforts are expected to have the same fate, especially with Biden's decisive electoral win over President Trump. 306 to 232. One of the most chaotic and unusual days in the history of the United States Congress. Democrats like Tennessee Congressman Steve Cohen will present a united front this afternoon to defend President elect Joe Biden's win against a group of President Trump's allies. This is probably the most vicious attack ever domestically since the Civil War on our United States government. Republicans remain divided over challenging the election results based on, so far, unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud. Alabama Congressman Mo Brooks will join about 100 House members and a dozen senators in objecting to Biden's victory because he says only Congress and state legislatures can determine how Americans vote. That uh, United States constitutional provision was violated in many different ways by various state officials who were not elected for that purpose and did not hold the power to do what they did. During today's joint session, a member of both the House and Senate has to object to a state's results. The chambers then meet separately to debate for two hours and vote. This could happen with several key battleground states, dragging the proceedings into Thursday. But the efforts are ultimately expected to fail. They're not taking this White House. We're going to fight like hell. President Trump and his supporters aren't back down. He will address them in Washington later this morning as the next administration plans to be sworn in January 20th. Joe Biden will be the next president of the United States and I will be the next vice president of the United States. The vice president presides over the joint session and ultimately declares the winner. And despite President Trump's wishes, Vice President Mike Pence has no power to change the outcome. Live in Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.